Hello, welcome to the tutorial on basic libraries in Python, Pandas, NumPy and Matplotlib. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to list and install the basic libraries in Python that is Pandas, NumPy and Matplotlib. Import a CSV data file in Python. A library is a collection of functions and methods which allows the user to perform actions without writing a lengthy code for performing that task. Now, Python has got a lot of libraries available which help in performing several functions. Because of the vast collection of libraries in Python, the amount of code a data scientist has to write has reduced quite a bit. Some of the most common libraries which we will be requiring as of now are Pandas, NumPy and Matplotlib. Pandas helps in data manipulation and analysis. NumPy helps in performing complicated mathematical calculations for large data sets. And Matplotlib helps in plotting different types of graphs in Python. For using these libraries, we need to install and import them in the Python environment. So now we will understand how we can install these libraries in Python. Although there are a couple of ways for installing the libraries, we will discuss here the simplest way so that we do not face any issues. Firstly, we must ensure that we have a working internet connection. Now let's navigate to start menu and open run. We type here cmd and the command prompt opens up. We type conda install pandas and press enter. Done is displayed in the list and the command prompt returns to default, indicating that we have successfully installed the pandas library in our system. Similarly, we can install numpy and matplotlib. In case we wish to uninstall any library, we just need to replace word install with uninstall in the code. For example, we type conda uninstall numpy and press enter. The numpy library is uninstalled from the system. In case you had uninstalled numpy library, please reinstall it as we will need it in subsequent topics. So we learnt to install the libraries in our system. Now to use them we have to import them in our Python environment. Let's open your Python programming window and type import pandas. Now, Let's press Ctrl plus Enter. Our library is imported in your Python environment and we can now use its functions. Please note that while installation of libraries is required only once, we need to import them every time we write a Python program where we need to use them. Now let's understand how data is imported into Python. First, we have to keep your data file in the same folder where you have created your working directory. It can also be done by uploading the data file into your working directory. We open our working directory, click the upload button and select our data file. In this case, it is named as one.regressionmodulehousingprices.csv. You can download this file on your system from the link given in the helper text below. Let's click open. The file is uploaded and is showing up in our working directory. Step 2. Now, we just have to import the data into the Python environment. This is quite simple. Let's figure out how to write the code for importing the data. We first call the library. Then, we need to use the 
inbuilt functions of that library and then pass the name of the file containing the data in double quotes within brackets as input argument to that function. Also, we assign a name to the imported data so that we do not need to write the entire code each time we are using this data set. Let's write the code now. In this code, raw underscore housing underscore data is the name that we are assigning to our data set. Pandas is the library. Read underscore CSV is an inbuilt function in this library that can read and open a CSV data file. And the file name is one dot regression module housing prices dot CSV. We are passing this as an input argument for this function. Let's press control plus enter and our data is imported into your Python environment. In order to view the data, we just type raw underscore housing underscore data, which is the name we gave to our data set. We get the data in the next line. Congratulations. You have now successfully imported the data into the Python environment. We would explore this data set in greater detail shortly. Mm -hmm.